Hey everybody, welcome back to Hollow Knight. So we are back in Ancient Basin. I just took the hidden station to get back here. So uh, if you, when you get the Monarch Wings, it's best to take this path. Um, right here is actually where the White Palace will be. We just need to um, dream nail this corpse, this white armored corpse. So like it's a really ancient um, guard of the Pale King. Uh, that'll lead us like into this dream like white palace world it's pretty cool um so if we get head actually further down here is where we uh we didn't go before because we couldn't really access this area anyway because now that we have the king's brand we can access this big door right here it's right there just have to touch it and it opens so this this is locked off because like as you can see in the foreground there's a lot of void energy going on so this leads pretty much to like the depths of Hollow Nest. Um, it is a very creepy area. Lots of darkness going on. Um, there is a lot of uh, ah spikes around. I tried to take the quick day way down, but that didn't really work very well. I had to be careful. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Right here is a door um, that I've never actually entered before because I've never gotten all the masks in the game. But you need to light up all of these orbs in the background using. Uh, some charms to give you like some more uh, life like the blue the blue life like the lifeblood basically what it is um, It's very very cool. There's another power-up we could get down here But I unfortunately haven't got the first part of it like in this left door here if we have the the abyss shriek Oh, yeah, we are in the abyss. So look at all these corpses down here. Like there's a there's a mask of a uh, one of my fallen brethren down here. A lot of corpses everywhere. There's a lot of these things. Lots of shades. Um, these things will infinitely spawn down here. And they, yeah, they do two damage to you if they hit you. So they're very, very deadly. Um, but we just have to head to the right here. And we're going to have to face a lot more of those things further on down here too. It's going to get really crazy and creepy. Like this is, yeah, look at this. This thing terrified the shit out of me because this also played... I was also playing this at like 3 in the morning, and these things were coming out of the ground, and I was like, what the actual hell? <laughs> like, they're creepy as fuck, man. Like, this pretty much tells you that what we're doing is not very good. Like, we're basically taking this energy, um, like this really just dark energy, um, and using it to face off against this, this very beautiful being known as the, uh, the radiance. Oh god, there's so many of these things. Ah, oh, we gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta. You, it's best just to like try and avoid these things because um, they just infinitely spawn. And when there's lots of them, oh boy, it's really, really crazy. Uh, you just want to get to the lighthouse. <laughs> you can kill them on your way here though. Um, but just activate the switch and it lights up uh, this lighthouse here. Because uh, if we don't take this top path, we can't actually go to the right, so they won't spawn anymore because the light is in here, thankfully. Which is good because there's lots of them. I died a lot in this section the first time. But if you try to bypass this water right here, um, it won't let you. Because there will be a lot of, uh, a lot of those things in the, the dark water. I guess it's just basically f the void. <laughs> it's like this gross, man. But yeah, it won't let you pass it because they'll obviously block your way off, so it's pretty shitty. Is there something up here? Oh, there is. I forgot about that. Oh, right. There's a little secret there because that is a shade, like one of the barriers I was talking about we need the shade cloak for. I think you have to take this pop top path. I don't think it really matters. Oh, yeah, it does because, yeah, we can't get past that thing without it. But there's like this bug just in this gross energy... And we're just basically getting, yeah, like it's, we're just absorbing this freaking uh, dark water. So yeah, all of our, our cool power-ups become like something else. So it, when we use this, we can just like go through things now. The arcane egg's really good. Those things sell for like 1500 geos, so you want to pick that up. Um, we'll try to end up here. So yeah, there's like a little period, so like when I use this, you'll see like that energy and it'll go back into me and then I'll flash for like a second. That basically shows you when you can use it again. There is a, a power up for this called the Sharp Shadow. I don't remember this door. An imprint of abyss given form. 
Oh, okay, right. Oh, right, because it's just like uh, another journal entry that we need. Um, but there is one called the Sharp Shadow. Like, when you dash... Because you can dash through, like, bosses as long as, like... When you end up on the other side, you aren't in a hole form. Um, in, in shade, instead of shade form. Uh, it, like, lets you do damage as you dash through things. It's really, really cool. And is required for 112% anyway, so... But yeah, now we have that, we can go like a lot of different places, which is crazy. But this is even the worst of it. Like there's, like I said, there's still like another section that leads even further down where we need the, uh, the Void Soul, which will give us access to the, uh, the true ending of the game. And, uh, we, we need that to form with the King Soul, so. It's gonna be crazy, man. But now that we have this, uh... It's going to be nice to be able to dodge through enemies that we want to avoid as much as possible. And I think... I don't think there's a way to make it faster for this re to regenerate or not, but... There's a really cool climb out of this area where we're shrouded in darkness too, like when we get the Void Soul. That shows us a little bit more story segment. We'll get to see the Hollow Knight in his uh, original form before he's like all transformed by the infection. Oh god, okay, that was a bad idea. I think this is kind of useless to break because, like, most of it just falls, like, all the way down here. Well, I guess we got some of it. I should probably use all this Geos to buy stuff because uh, I have a lot. <laughs> 4,000 doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot to lose because it's it takes a while to farm in this game. There are some enemies that drop, like, 40 when you kill them and stuff, but um, we could probably use it to upgrade our nail and stuff as well. Uh, oh, God. Gotta be careful of those guys. Yeah, like, there's even, like, masks of the... Our fallen vessels, our brethren, I guess, our kin. I don't even know what you want to call them. Just everywhere in this place. Probably trying to escape or something. I don't know. But it's it's crazy to think the king would use this, this darkness to fight, like, the Radiance. Just because he wanted control over Hollow Nest. And then in the end, he basically... Screwed himself. Oh, hey, it's Hornet again. She calls me Ghost. I forgot about that. Yeah, I see you face the place of your birth and now drape yourself in the substance of his shadow. Yep. Though our strength is born of a similar source, that part of you, that cruel emptiness, crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny then that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis or face the heart of its infection. Yeah. The the writing in this game is really good. Like everything is uh, easy to follow, but like it's written so well. You know, like they use some pretty amazing words instead of making like the dialogue kind of basic and boring. So yeah, holy crap! I don't even know where we should go now. Like we have so many choices. I really should figure that out. Maybe I'll head back to Dirtmouth and buy like a few things. We should probably fight like one of the. Uh, the powered up forms of like the lost kin or uh, something like get some dream essence because we, then we can get like if we can get a thousand we can get the um we can get the dream gate which helps it so we can just set a gate on the on the ground somewhere and then when you use the ability again it'll teleport you back there so you can like uh see if you want to like just quicker access to dirt mouth you can just put a gate right here like outside here and then you can be like really far away and uh, be able to head back here without worrying to find a SAG station or anything like that. It's a really cool update they did. Ooh, yeah, we got lots of stuff we can buy, like lots of charms and shit. Uh, let's buy like a vessel fragment. Why not? I think I have, yeah, I have one already. I should buy another one too because then I can get like some extra... Ooh, 900. Ooh, geez, these are expensive. <laughs> The Luma Flyer Lantern is just the major thing we needed to get out of the way, so... Yay! Now we have a little, another little circle. We can get two more of them as well. But uh, he doesn't sell us anymore, so we have to find the rest of them, basically. Ooh, if we can buy one more Mash Shard, we can get another upgrade, too. Or another health upgrade. Yeah, sweet! I got exact just enough to get that, so that's awesome. Yay! I love how the mask looks. It kind of looks like it was weaved by web or something. Uh, let's see. Let's buy this, the Gathering Swarm. Because we need to buy all these these charms anyway, so might as well just get it out of the way. There we go. 
few more power-ups. Actually, what we should do is start the Grim Troop DLC, because uh, if we head to the left here, you know how like we started out the game over here? There's actually a secret path that leads us to the Howling Cliffs. There's another access point to it somewhere else, and I think in Deep Nest, but we could also head to Deep Nest as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I think this is the quickest way down here. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Oh, I love that freaking... Just <laughs> this thing in the background. I wonder what that is, to be honest. It looks like a cocoon of, like, some just demonic-looking thing. It's crazy. Because I believe, like, we can go over here. There's something we can do. Yeah, there's another axe. Or, yeah, the little secret to the left here. I forgot about that. And then we can just head up here. Which leads us to the Howling Cliffs. Which we'll be able to fight, like, another Dream Warrior in here, too. One that's pretty difficult. Unless you have the Shade Soul, you can just shred its health away pretty fast. It took me a long time. Like, I actually had to look it up, but I couldn't find the, uh the way to access the Grim Troop DLC because it was just like in a really weird spot. Like it's behind this hidden wall in the Howling Cliffs. It's crazy. Like, all these shells everywhere. It's so insane, man. What the hell's this lead to? Oh yeah, right. I forgot that there's a a nail master in here. Hell yeah, dude. What's going on, Mato? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's the one that teaches you it for free. I think this one is the the Cyclone one. I could be wrong, I'm not really sure though. Oh, it is the Cyclone. So this actually is very useful because you can charge it up. And if you press up, it does like this really crazy spin attack. And it can be very useful to shred through uh, enemies' health. But it does leave you open for attack. So like, let's see, we'll just charge it up and then like, wee! <laughs> it's kind of fun to use. Should probably save here just in case because uh this also helps it like I've, I've seen monstaller and i haven't mentioned him yet but he uh is a great speedrunner of this game like he um oh geez oh hello you were just waiting for me there you little shit um but i was watching a speed run of him uh doing this game like all bosses 112 112 percent like all the godmaster dlc and all that shit the guy's like an absolute master of this game. Like, he can. In the time it's taking me to play this much, he's beaten the. Like, everything in the game in like less than four hours. Because he's so quick. It's, it's just ridiculous. But. Oh, yeah, we should probably stay in this area. Because uh, we need to go through here. I think the. Yeah, here we go. This is the one I was talking about. Let's fight him. So we need to uh, use the Shade Soul on him as much as possible. There we go. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Ow, oh, crap. I really... Yeah, some of his attacks are really hard to dodge. Oh, my... Ah, oh, God! There we go. Yeah, the Shade Soul does a lot of damage because it kind of pushes it away. Like that... Uh, this boss away from you. And then it does, like, extra damage every time it hits it in the end. I don't... I think it's required to fight all of these uh, Dream Warriors to get 112%. But either way, it, they do give you like a hundred every time you fight one of them. And that one's actually pretty easy if you really know what to do. It can be very difficult if you just try to fight it with a, a freaking nail. As you can tell, like trying to get near it's very difficult. <laughs> so. Oh wait, that just leads us back to dirt mode. Okay, I guess maybe we do actually have to go back. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do. Because I, th I think like the left area that I was going to before... Like over here. Oh, geez. Okay. That didn't really work as well as I wanted. Um, this will lead us to the bigger area that we can find the uh, little lantern we need to light. Ooh, it's really dark. Ooh, okay. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. I forgot these guys are just whatever. Oh, yeah. Cornifer's down here, isn't he? Hey, buddy. What's going on? I don't know if I have enough to buy your mat, though, because I don't really have a lot of geos left. Oh, yeah, 75. Okay, we just have enough. And I think that's the other entrance there to the right, because he's usually near the entrance to an area, which is really cool. This makes it much easier to find him. I'm trying to remember where the fuck this wall is, though. <laughs> 
I think it's very, very close to here. Because that just leads us to corner for again. Man, it's so crazy to remember where the hell everything is in this game. Lots of Geos just hiding out here, too, for us. They don't really give you a lot, though. It's kind of lame. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. That didn't take too long to figure out. Or maybe not. This is just a little bit of lore there. Oh, okay. Never mind. This leads us to an item. Oh, there's another wall here, too. Hell, yeah. That actually might be it right there. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is what we need. Yep, this is. Okay. And you want to just dash right past that, too. And uh, I think you have to dream nail this thing? Yeah, you do. Okay. And then it'll access this uh, this lantern over here. And we just have to attack it to light it up. And what this does will summon the Grim Troop to Dirt Mouth. And then we can start the uh, the DLC quest. Which uh, I never really... like. I if, if, if I have one criticism about this game, I never really liked this DLC for the fact that it has you go around the map and fight like a bunch of, like, th I think three times it has you fight like really weak enemies that you need to gather um, this kind of like flame from for your uh, your little Grim Child, and uh, it powers up the Grim Child every time, which is I guess pretty useful because um, he can be useful to do extra damage to enemies, but you do have to have him with you to actually uh, accomplish this task. So they have you, I think you have, they have you do it like three different times and you have to fight like nine different enemies and they get like progressively more difficult to deal with. Um, which is like, it's not really the greatest uh, quest line, but it, it, I mean, it works for what it is, I guess. It just kind of has you go back through areas that you've already been through. So that's going to be kind of boring to deal with. And it, they do show up on the map, thankfully. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to, to figure out what the hell you need. Where the hell does this lead us? It's been a long time since I've played this far through the game. Oh, hey, there's a little grub. Ow, okay. I was like, what just hit me? I just realized that there's a, a stalag site there. No, that's nothing? Okay. So the grub's useful. We need him for sure. Um, okay, I guess we gotta go further down. Might as well do that then. Oh, it leads us to a chest. Oh. Oh, it's this area! Oh, I forgot about this completely! There's actually, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. There's actually, um... We gotta get rid of him. Oh, God, I didn't realize there was a little thing down there. But, uh, it leads us to a charm here. Called the Balder Shell. This, when you're... When you're focusing, it, uh... Actually puts a shield around you, which is really kind of... It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, he was... Oh, he wasn't open, so I couldn't hit him. Ah, jeez. That was close. Ah! God! This isn't even that hard. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Good thing I have the Shade Soul to help me through that. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I kept getting hit by, like, stupid shit. I think there is something up here, though. Normally, I go, um, here much earlier in the game, but I know, I know that there's really no point because you can't access this area. Yeah, there's, like, a whole other sub-area up here. Jesus, man. Oh, it just... Oh, okay, it just leads us back up here. Ah. So that's how... I think that's how I found the Howling Cliffs the first time. But yeah, we got another secret, so that's good. There's, like, just a few upgrades here. This, I think, is going to lead us back to Dirt Mouth... Or... Green Path, eventually, too, which is crazy. There's so many, like, shortcuts in this game. It's insane, dude. <laughs> Oh my lord, I, I just, I'm blown away by the amount of dedication they put into this world. Yeah, like, it does lead us back to Green Path. This is where we found, um, around the same area where we found, uh, uh, Zot, yeah. The little warrior guy we saved the first time. Yeah, we're all the way back in Green Path. There's a lot of different things we can do in here, too, like, a bunch of, uh, might as well just use that on him. Um, a bunch of, uh, secrets we can find in here too because I think we can access oh yeah if we go to the lake that we were at the first time um Jesus I gotta figure out a save point though hmm I don't think this is the best area no probably not I could just heal myself 
But yeah, there's a where we fought Hornet. If we went left there, I think I did that the one time I fought her. Um, there was like this lake, but now we can go across it. So, and I can also go through more of the. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. It leads us back here. I can go through more of the waterways too, because we can get Isma's tier as well, which will be helpful. I should probably knock this down so I have easier access to here. I don't think I got this grub. No, I didn't. Okay, so I should probably get this grub. Now that this guy's gonna be probably pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hey, grub, what's going on? <laughs> He's just so happy for freeing him. Oh, cute little things. I really want the plushie of them where they like talk and stuff. It's just cute as fuck. I'm gonna do a quick save here, and I think we should end the episode here. We made a little bit of progress, so. I'm gonna keep these episodes short for you guys. But yeah, we'll head through uh, that up area, like just right above us, where Hornet was, and we'll head through there to the left, and it'll lead us into a new, a whole new area. I think it leads us to the Queen's Garden, which is a pretty tough area with a, a new boss called the Traitor Lord. Um, and there's a few things we can do in there to get 112% as well. Like we meet the, the Queen, um, who looks really cool. She's like kind of like this tree thing, kind of like embedded in the earth. It's it's really neat. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day as always. Bye-bye.